And now sports with Matt Gittens on KPDI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. There is a rule in the broadcasting industry that you always begin your story with your best video. It makes sense because then the audience is engaged and will stay with you. Folks, the video you are about to see is unbelievably captivating and a bit scary. I will say that neither the cowboy or the horse was injured. Cooper Clemens of Firth High School is one tough son of a gun. If you already knew Cooper, you would already agree with me. If you've never heard of him, then this video will serve as absolute proof of my statement. The junior had a little trouble getting his hand unhooked on his bareback ride tonight at the Bannock County Fairgrounds. Now remember, like I said at the beginning of the story, neither Cooper or the horse was injured. That doesn't mean that this cowboy didn't go for a wild ride tonight. By the time he finally got his hand unhooked, he had spent 32 seconds being slung around the arena. The best part of this whole story is that about 10 minutes after that jaw-dropping ride in the bareback competition, who would find themselves right back on a horse for the saddle bronc competition? You guessed it, Cooper Clemens. Although he didn't last the full eight seconds on either one of the rides, I think all of you in the audience stand beside me and saying, Cooper Clemens, you are a man. He was not the only rider tonight at the Bannock County Fairgrounds. Let's continue with the Saddle Bronc competition. This ride from Colby Gianni, he's gonna get bucked off. Only one guy stayed on in the Saddle Bronc and it was Stetson Jorgensen, although that horse, Eh, not the not the most ferocious one. He did score 57 points. Can't fault Stetson for that. He hangs on for the full ride. On to the pole bending competition. This is Kimberly Ferringer, a junior from American Falls. She's going to go back and forth and back and forth in the pole bending. The rodeo continues tomorrow up there at the Bannock County Fairgrounds.